Hello, how's it going YouTube? Weary2 here, and today I'm going to teach you how I made my webcam overlay and how you can make a very simple, easy webcam overlay for yourself that looks good. Um, <clears throat> all you need to do is go down to the link in the, 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 the description and download an application called paint.net. It is a free application for creating and, cre cre creating and editing photos. Uh, I use it all the time because it's free and easy. You should too, okay? So when you download this program, go up to the top left and you're gonna hit File, New, and then you see this little tab come up that says Width and Height. Whatever the width and height of your camera is, is what you're gonna put in here. I have 1920 by 1080, so I'm gonna go 1920 for the width, 1080 for the height. Hit OK. It's gonna open up a brand new tab for me with a white page on it. Go to the bottom right and zoom us out because you can't make a photo inside of something that you can only see like 45% of it. That didn't make sense. All right, next thing you're gonna do, go up to rectangle select in the tool bar thing. If you don't see the tool bar thing, it's up in the top left as well. Click that drop down. it's the same thing, okay? You're gonna select everything inside of the rectangle and hit delete on your keyboard, bang. Now, when we create the outline, the rectangle outline, it's gonna make sure that the inside is hollow Transparent, I don't know why I said hollow. Transparent, so when you put your camera behind it, you can still see it, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is go down to shapes, bottom of the uh, tools tab, click shapes, and then in the top left, uh, you can click this drop down. There's a bunch of options, rounded rectangle, circle, trapezoid, arrows, call outs, everything. I don't even know what a call out is, but I'm gonna go with rectangle here, okay? And the thing right next to it, uh, make sure it says draw shape outline because if you use either of the two other options It's gonna fill in all the inside and make it so it'll block your webcam and you don't want to do that Okay after that choose your colors. I don't know what your You know color scheme is for your stream or YouTube um, Mine is red black and white. Okay, so I'm using red and black for this. I'm basically recreating what I have around me right now Okay so what we want to do is we want to start from the top left and ball sack. Start from the top left as far as you can go and drag down to the bottom right. Okay, make sure it's even so it's visible on your stream. You don't want it to be too thin, but you don't want it to be too thick. If it's too thick, you know, you'll get sick. <clears throat> that was stupid. Anyway, after that, we're going to select the magic wand. This literally does magic, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you select the rectangle you just made. Okay, then go to gradient. Now the gradient will make uh, the rectangle that you made fade from one color to another. Um, now with the gradient, you can drag from one side to the other, you know, left to right, which will make it look like this, half and half, half red, half black. You can go, you know, any direction, right to left, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, and then it'll freaking look like this. But what I did with mine was I went top down. I mean, bottom up. Bottoms up, everybody's hands go up. So gradient, bottom up. This makes a huge difference when it comes to the quality of your stream. I'm telling you, if you just have a basic color as your outline, it's gonna look kind of stupid because it looks like a five-year-old just made that. But with this gradient, it's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? It's way more impressive for no reason. It's so simple to do, but it makes a huge difference. Okay? so. After that, if you want to, we can go back down to the Shapes tool and you can add different stuff into your overlay. So if you go Shapes tool, go to Pentagon arrow in the drop down. You know, you can add, you know, a little stuff like this and then fill it in and then select it with the magic wand and then make a gradient. Shoot, hang on, I gotta make the gradient. Bang. I don't know, you could put your name up there next to the freaking arrow uh there's other freaking shapes you can add in there too i wouldn't do this but you know it's your stream this is for you not for me you know you could put a little triangle down there fill that magic wand it put a gradient on that look at it it looks like it's a freaking you know what i'm saying and if you want to add a glow say you want to add a freaking glow to your overlay we're gonna go to the layers tab hit plus on the layer thingy thingy okay now you're on a new layer. On the new layer, you need to select your, uh, uh, where's the paintbrush? Hello? 
Oh, I'm on it. Okay. Paintbrush. Set your brush width to 10. I don't, I mean, you can set it to whatever you want. All right. Select the color that you want to glow. Okay. And then with the paintbrush, you just paint over. You don't even have to, you don't have to stay with between the lines. Don't stay with between the lines or else it won't look like a glow. All right. You want to fill in the area that you want to glow. Fill it in, make it look ugly, disgusting, blah, cover it up. Okay. Then we're going to go up to the top, go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. And turn that up. Boom. See that? Now it's glowing. You know what I'm saying? Very easy stuff that, whoopsie, very easy stuff that changes the quality of your stream. Okay? Um, that's basically all the help that I have right now. Uh, this doesn't actually look bad as an overlay. Dope. Okay. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. Maybe I can help you. Maybe I can't. You know, I've been doing this since 2012, but I still suck. So uh, if you like the video, subscribe, comment, like. I don't know. I don't really do YouTube a lot. But uh, thank you. I'll be doing more tutorials soon. I love you and peace.